Let me kind of wrap things up with a story about a young couple who wanted a child for so long, so very long. The news came that she was with child indeed. And there was a joy in the family. Because they had prayed for it for so long. And then on that night, that special night, the joy could be heard in the tent as the baby was delivered. That was right after the screams. But the joy could be heard in the tent as the baby was delivered. And even more shouts of joy because it was a boy. A boy, someone to carry on the name of the family. What a joy that was. But how soon that joy turned to sorrow as it was discovered that the boy was blind. And his future was very bleak. You see, at that time, there wasn't much work for a blind person at all. As a matter of fact, his parents knew that he would be, at best, a beggar. That he would have to spend his days begging for money. And the sadness filled their hearts. <coughs> because that's all there was left of their son. This boy they had prayed for, and God had given him. And the husband wondered what the wife had done that God would punish them with a blind son. <coughs> what sin had she committed that God would punish them this way? And anger filled his heart. And the wife, she wondered the same thing. What had her husband done? What could he have done? What has he hidden from her? That God would send them this blind son. Doubt, sadness filled their lives. And the boy grew. And grew. And finally he came to an age where he needed to earn some money. He needed to earn his keep. So his father took him to the city gates and he placed him there at the gates with all the other beggars in his cup so he could beg for money in order to survive. And each day in the morning he'd go and he would drop him off. And each night as the sun was going down he would go and retrieve him and take him back home and put, feed him and put him to bed. And this continued each and every day of his life until one day as the boy sat there begging, a group of men came. And it was a large group. And you could, you could tell that it was somebody important because of the size of the group that was around him. And they all seemed very attentive to him. And they wanted to hear every word that he had to say. It must have been a teacher, perhaps a rabbi, or at least in their eyes. And he overheard him saying, Rabbi, who sent this man or his parents that he was born blind? Neither this man nor his parents have sinned, said Jesus. But this happened so that the works of God might be displayed in him. And he spat in the mud put it on the blind man's eyes, he told him to go wash. And he did, and he could see. And God was glorified. You see, sometimes things happen that we don't understand. And we look at them and we say, why in the world could this happen? But I'm here to tell you, sometimes if we look hard enough, we can see that God's at work. And that God is glorified. And we see His works. And we see His mighty hand at work. 
That comes from discernment. That comes from looking beyond the obvious into the Bible. From praying, from seeking counsel, from 